We're at Wesley Creek. The site ranked high on our spatial analysis. So we came here to ground truth the area to see if it was actually going to be optimal for beaver or not. So I'll first start with what this map even means. Red is going to be the best and green is still going to be good. So we'll be checking out all colored dots today. So here's a tree that has been chewed on by a beaver. While beavers used to live here, they're not here currently because we don't see any recent evidence. And so that indicates it could potentially be a good reintroduction spot. It ranked our excellent score. So we knew that this was likely going to be a release spot once we did the beaver site assessments. We've had quite a few releases here. We're checking our wildlife cameras that we've set up, and that's how we track them and to see if they hung around and decided to start building or not here. Best case scenario, you get a beaver family. You reintroduce them to an area like this, and they start to build habitat. They start to build dams, which then creates fish habitat, improves water storage, so there's water held in the system deeper into the season than it would have been before the beavers were here. So here's our release site down here, and that's of course where we set up a camera um, because when we release them, you know, they might this might be a spot that they're familiar with, and they'll they'll head back. Oh, here we go. We have a beaver with a with a big branch in his mouth. It looks like one of the alders nearby. Wow, this is at the wee hours of the morning, so this is usually when they're most active. Um, so it looks like he's chowing down on some older. This is amazing. This is great news. That means they're alive and they're also thriving because they're, they're eating and, and hopefully staying healthy. In an effort to better understand the impacts that beavers are having on our reintroduction areas, we took measurements before they were released and we'll collect post-release data once the beavers create their dams and lodges. Doing this allows us to document things such as the creation of new side channels, the deepening of pools, and hopefully an increase in the overall complexity of the aquatic system. So the project's going well. It's um, been an exciting challenge. It's about year two of the beaver relocation project. We'll be doing this hopefully for the next few years. Now that we've laid the foundation, laid the groundwork, we hope to be able to continue this work through the next several years. Reintroducing more beavers and more sites, identifying areas where the need is high, and prioritizing where we need to be putting our efforts.